Now, the factors which are influencing the climatic condition of any region, we have basically divided the factors into four categories that is the latitudes, the land and the water relationship, the relief and the upper atmospheric circulation. Coming to the latitudes, as we know we have the zero degree latitude called equator, the equator is an image, all the latitudes are the imaginary lines which are drawn for our convenience to study, to assess the location of the various places. Coming to the climatic condition here, the lands which are nearby to the equator or between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, they get, they receive the largest amount of sun or solar radiation. So the regions here will have hot climatic conditions. As we move on away from the equator, as the latitude degree goes on moving up and by the time we go to poles, that solar radiation becomes less and it becomes very cool places. That is the reason why near the poles we have the cold climatic conditions. So nearby equator we have hot climatic conditions, moving to the poles we have the cold climatic conditions. Like what is the influence or what is the reason behind this for getting this kind of conditions? Here the condition is the, the sun rays falls directly on the equator and if you see the globe structure as it is having the degree of variation, the distance travelled by the sun rays nearby to the equator and to the poles is varying here. So the by the time they reaches to the poles, the radiation is becoming less it is getting mixed up with the atmospheric pressure and all it gets diverted and then the influence of the sun rays on the land becomes very less. This is one of the reasons why the latitudes have more influence or we can guess how the temperature influences or the climatic condition changes basing on the latitudinal location of any particular place. If the area is far away from the equator, you get less sun rays. If it is nearby to the equator, we get more climatic conditions. The countries nearby to the equator like African countries or the West Indies countries, you can experience hot climatic conditions like Canada or Australia, you get the moderate or cold climatic conditions. These are the examples of the countries which are located nearby to the lateral extents away from the equator and nearby to the equator. Now the next point is land and water relationship. Now if you see the globe, we have three parts filled with water and only one part of the portion of the globe is covered with land. So nearly 70% of the earth is covered with water and 30% is covered with land or nearly 29%. Now when the lands which are nearby to the water bodies, for example you take the states, coastal states of our region, they, they regions like Chennai, they don't experience hot climatic conditions or the regions like Kerala regions or Goa region, they have moderate climatic conditions even in the extreme summer also. Because the influence of the water which is nearby to them, the water has a good nature that it does not get up heat very soon and, does, and it does not get cool very soon. So when it gets up heat, it takes time to get reduced. So when the land is heat, the pressure moves on to the water and when the water is heat, then land becomes cool. Because of this vice versa condition which is going on here, the lands which are nearby to the water bodies will have moderate climatic conditions when compared to the lands which are interior regions. For example, in Vizag you have better climatic condition or less temperature when compared to the regions of Hyderabad location. That is the influence of land and water relationships. Next one is the relief. You know, yesterday we discussed about the relief regions. Relief means nothing but the location of the place or the land forms which are located in that region. Relief is nothing but the hills, mountains, plains, plateaus, all these come under the relief regions. The regions which are on higher elevation does not have high temperatures. For example, you take the famous uh, Nainital, Shimla, all the Musori, Udagamandalam, Uti, all these places. These all are called hill stations. They are on the higher elevation from the normal sea level. So as we move on, the temperature influence will become less. When we are moving up for every 100 meters, like 1 kilometer, you get the radiation of the temperature down for 1 degree Celsius. So as we are moving up like 3000 meters, 4000 meters, the temperature becomes like 5 degrees variation from the normal level to the upper elevation. So these places are called hill stations. Even in summer, many people visit these places like Nainital, Shimla and all these places to get recreation because the temperature here is less when compared to the other regions. So basing on the location of the place also, we get the relief. That is relief region also. Relief factor also plays a key role in the temperature or the climatic condition of any particular region. The most important factor is the upper atmospheric circulation. If you look at the globe carefully, we are in the subtropical region, in the upper part of the tropical regions, we get the winds which are generated because of the extreme coldness and they move towards the equator with a high pressure. When they are moving towards the equator with a high pressure, you get the cold winds towards the hot areas. And once these winds are coming, these winds are called jet streams. What are they called? Jet streams. These jet streams come with a very huge amount of force towards the places. When they are coming with such force on the atmospheric levels, 
they change the atmospheric temperature or climatic conditions and move on towards the other regions as the cold winds move on towards the equator they start to change the temperature nearby to the equator they become cool and from here again when they are reversing it and moving towards the western part then they move on towards the western region changing the climatic conditions there they also have their influence on the climatic condition of a particular region or increase or decrease of a temperature of a particular region now let us see uh, the other factors of winter 